You are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. This is episode 216. I'm Christine Horn, the booking magnet. And welcome. Happy Monday. Listen, I just got back from Costa Rica, honey. Hola a todos. Mi vacaciones was muy rico. Oh, got my Spanish popping. <laughs> Listen, I'm pumped. I'm refreshed. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, this is episode 216. Today's topic is what your jealousy is really costing you. I'm going to let that sit. Looking y'all all up in the eye. I'm live on Instagram. I'm live on Facebook. If this is your first time watching, put a one in the comments so I can welcome you. If you're an OG, put OG in the comments because you know you know what to do. So all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up? Replay watchers? Love you guys. Listen, so before I dive into today's juicy topic, what's up, Brittany? She said, this is old hair, Brittany. I dug, I dug her up because my good hair is in the um, suitcase. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't get unpacked yet. <laughs> yes, I see you OGs in the house. What's up, Brandon? All right, so let's dive in. First things first, Instagram, just hang tight. You know what? Let me get into the content first, and then I'll do the giveaway midway through because I want some more people to pop on. In case you missed it, every quarter, once a quarter, I do a I do a giveaway. Why I gotta be a sanctified look? Mm. <laughs> Y'all are tripping today. Um, but once a quarter, I do a giveaway. Last quarter, around the Christmas holiday, I gave away some booking magnet t-shirts. We had three winners for that. Um, Iara, you can testify to that. You got yours all the way sent to London, right? So this quarter, I'm giving away two free coaching sessions with me. And if you don't know, I don't coach privately other than my VIP six month inner circle. So this is really exciting. So I'm gonna give that away in a little bit. I'm gonna share my screen on Facebook because I don't pick it, the computer picks it. So I have no idea who it's gonna pick. So all of you who, all of you who put your name in the hat, stay tuned, keep your fingers crossed. All right, so. <laughs> All these demands, Dwan. See when you have another coach up in your up. Shout out to Dwan Johnson with the Think Bigger Tribe. I know a lot. When I know we share a lot of audiences, but honey, he be coming up in my thread acting up. <laughs> I love him so much. Anywho, and if you're not part of Think Bigger Tribe, you absolutely should be. So here's what I want. Here's what was on my brain today is I've been coaching clients and going through my own stuff as well. You know, this is pilot season. It's affecting some of you different than others. Some of you are like, oh, it's pilot season because I, I don't. I'm not getting anything, right? Some of you have been going out, going out, going out. Some of you have had some close calls like I have, and some of you have had some bookings like I have. But it, you know, it's it's different for all of us. And as I coach, you know, and just talk to my friends and chop it up over cocktails, what I hear that comes up is, you know, just how do I own the feelings that I feel when I'm up for something big, big to me, right? It doesn't matter what if it's big to other people. It could be a, a two-line co-star. It could be a series regular. It could be a recurring guest star. It could be some, a feature film. It could be a commercial or a print job. It doesn't matter. But owning and sitting in this feeling of, man, you know, I didn't get it, and I want to be happy for him or her, and really being honest with yourself, checked in about how you feel about it. And so I want to just talk about that because listen, I'm the first one. Anybody who's ever coached with me, y'all know, I'd be like, are you sold out yet? Y'all, you know, and you'd be like, sold out of what? Your tickets to your pity party because I'm not going and don't be inviting nobody else, right? I'm the queen of saying that. However, I say it jokingly, but seriously, because you got to take the time right? You got to hold space for the emotion. I'm never going to pretend like it doesn't affect me and it doesn't affect you. I just don't, as a coach, I don't want you to sit there. I don't want you to only sit in, what was me? I didn't get it. She got it again. And, she, you know, could be uh, a friend of yours or just an associate you see getting, maybe you're the same type and they're always getting the roles. And then what may start to come up for you, and you may not want to say it out loud, but in the quiet nights, in the, in the, deep, dark depths of your soul, if you're honest, you may, not saying you do, but you may experience moments of jealousy. Gosh, why not me? When's my turn going to come? She, he always keeps, seems to get these parts. When is it my turn, right? And that can just start from an innocent question 
And then it can, it can just like anything else, any other seed we plant, it grows, it festers if we sit in that space. And so I want you to just think, I have a few things for you to think about today on what it's really costing you. And here's the thing, you know, y'all know us, I call myself a booking magnet because, hey, William, right, because I believe what we put out comes back to us, right? We attract things. What's up, Dawn? What's up, Casey? Right, Arisha? Right, so just the first tip for you, as, as if you find yourself affected by this in a moment, first of all, own it. Own that this is what you feel. No, now I'm like, I'm cool. I mean, she fine. I mean, it's good. He good. I mean, congratulations to him. Cool for him. <laughs> I don't know why, like, it got to be all this. But, like, that's the internal inner negative voice doing all that bop, bop, do what on the inside, right? But first of all, just, like, own it. You know what? I am feeling a little jealous of blank. I really wanted it. And I just own it. Like, as soon as you own it, you are no longer lying to yourself. Right? And then once we own it, we can, okay, okay, now we can build from here. If you're just joining, welcome. Come on in the room. Say hi. What's up, Tanya Butler? Right? Right? As soon as you own it, come on in the room. Right? I can combine two thoughts. <laughs> as soon as you own it, now we can move forward. So the next thing is understand that when it's near you, rem remember that it's getting closer and closer to you. Right? So if, it's, if it is a friend or an associate, someone you know by name or just keep seeing them, like, man, it's getting closer and closer to me, which means my time is coming. And the way that it comes will look different, right? William says, I'm always rooting for my friends. Me too. So that leads me to my next thing. Think about how you want to be supported. At, on your next booking, on your next, the next thing you have a callback for, the next thing, you know, you want us all to tune in for. Like, just think about energetically how you want people to be feeling in their own house when you're not even around. The things that you want them to be saying about you. I want people to be like, man, go, Christine. Shout out to Rachel White, who, like, tagged me on Facebook today because she saw me in the Terminator and was, like, made a whole little thing. And, like, I was like, yes, God bless. And, like, sharing that good energy out. Like, winning, winning, winning. So, next thing is getting closer. First, we own it. Next thing we know that it's getting closer to us. The next thing is think about how you want to be supported and understand, here's the last tip before I give, do the giveaway tonight, is you get what you give. Like, just period. That's just in life. We get what we give. So if you're throwing it out, life is just, everything's like a boomerang. Law of attraction. It is literally a boomerang, honey. So if you're throwing it out, be prepared to get it back. And you don't know how or when it's going to come back, but oh, it's coming back. And so I'm just so aware of that, like it just, and I feel like it takes more effort and energy to go to the negative. But again, we have to be honest with ourselves, be truthful to ourselves in a moment, a thing may, a feeling may come up, a little darkness may, may come up. And that's when you go to the things that you have. For all of us, it's different arsenals. For some of you, it's, it's your Bible. For some of you, it's, it's grabbing notes from your class. For some of you, it's grabbing my book, right? For some of you, it's just like sitting and just be like, okay, ooh. Check in, check in with myself. Oh, no. Like, have the things that you can go to. Because none of us are 100% pure all the time. We can have intention and be and intellectually get it. But we're human. My dog, Prince, is snoring. I just picked him up from the, from the kennel today. So you see what I mean? So just understand, because I feel like if you keep letting things build and build and build, what it's costing you, what your jealousy is really costing you is your own breakthrough, is your own future bookings, is your own cheerleading squad on the side. So I dare say, really check in with yourself and not just so that publicly you're like, oh, I'm, go girl. Oh man, go, that's my dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, feel it in your heart. And feel what it feels like to like really celebrate somebody like they're your first cousin that you grew up with. <laughs> your first cousin, you know, that favorite cousin you got. And then something good happened to that cousin, like how you would cheer them on like that kind of energy. And listen, if people are in your circle and you just don't vibe with them like that, that you want to cheer them on like that, then that's all good, too. They just don't need to be really in your circle. <laughs> right? Tanya says, I feel you, girl. You know, thank y'all for coming on in. This is just as we come into a new week with new opportunities or for some of you, lack of opportunity, right, from outside sources, I want you to just keep checking in, keep checking in. Y'all know Mondays are my therapy day. And even though I just came back from over 15 hours of traveling, 
last night. I was tired. I was like, nope, go to therapy today, girl. Go to therapy. Feed your mind. Take care of your mental health. Because she's my therapist always says, <laughs> check in. How are you feeling? Check in. How are you feeling? Check in. How are y'all feeling? I have something funny to tell y'all. So that's what I wanted to share with you before. I want to do the giveaway. Again, if you're just hopping on all for the past two weeks, some of you have put your name in the hat to get a free coaching session with me. I'm giving away two. Facebook, I'm going to share my screen so you can see me do it. Oh, wait, do I have to, can I only share my screen? I think I have to share my screen if, mm. I think I had to have shared my screen before I went live. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video in a moment and go live again on Facebook. I mean, I'll go live. I'll stay live on Instagram, but I'll go live again on Facebook because I won't, I can't share my screen now that I've, now that my face is on. Anyway, but here's a funny story <laughs> before I wrap, just a little amusement for you. So my therapist, she's really sweet and she's older. She's been doing it for like 30 something years. She's a senior and honey, she slightly dozes off during our sessions. <laughs> Here's how she do it. She'd be like, we're always talking about self-care, self-care. Y'all know I'm busy. I keep a busy schedule. So sometimes I don't check in with myself. Hey, Tiffany, right? So sometimes I'm always giving so much energy to you guys, I forget to check in with me. <laughs> so this is how she do it. She'd be like, I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know how to do with this and that, blah, 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 blah. She'd be like, she'd be like, yeah. And she said, you got to check in with yourself. So. So it's like, first, it's like she's smiling, so there's teeth, and then her eyes slowly close. And then when she wakes up, it'd be like two, three seconds, and then she'd be like, mm, self-care. <laughs> that cracks me up, because our answer to everything is self-care, and somehow, it is still profound. And I'll be like, mm, you right. <laughs> and I haven't called her out on it, y'all. Should I call Should I call her out? Because she does it every session. She dozes off every session. But like, just in, just in small tidbits, I'll be like, listen, when you get old, when you need a nap, you need a nap. <laughs> listen, Tanya, I don't know. I think, is my, I'm like, is my voice too soothing? Or look, when you've been doing stuff in 30 years, she's like, look, boo, you talking about the same, boo, boo, boo. all y'all got the same problems. Self-care is the answer. So it don't matter if I go to sleep or not, I'm going to just tell you to take care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And, and low key, I go there too, outside of my mental breakthroughs. It's enjoying, I, am, I enjoy it. It tickles me. And I think I'll probably create a character or skit from it. But um, <laughs> anywho, that's what my tip. If you join late, I just got in a sidebar about my therapist who is a slight narcoleptic, but it's fine. Um, I can share my screen. So what I'm going to do, if you miss any part of this on Facebook, catch the replay. But Facebook, I'm about to come, I'm going to end this live on Facebook and come live again to do the giveaway with this. So y'all can see that I'm not taking favorites. This computer is gonna pick the winners of the giveaway. So Instagram, I'm just gonna hang around. If you gotta go, go. But see you guys. If you missed any episode, this is episode 216 of Actors Daily Bread. Instagram, link in my bio, come to my YouTube channel. Facebook, come to my YouTube channel, right? To catch up. All right, Facebook, I'm gonna go and come back. Bye. All right.